Hello everyone and welcome to this Mirador webinar on Windows 10 Desktop Management Enterprise Plan features in Mirador Online. My name is Sean Brennan and I'm a marketing specialist here at Mirador. So let's quickly have a look at the agenda for today. Uh, first, we have a pre-recorded demo from our Chief Technical Officer, Walter Bikecki. And then we will have a live Q&A session here with him to answer any and all of your questions regarding the demo. So when we encourage you to type your questions in the question box during the demonstration. And then some closing remarks. And without further ado, let's begin the demo. Hello everyone, and on my behalf as well, welcome to this webinar. As introduced, my name is Valtteri Kekki and I'm the CTO of Mirador, and today I'm going to talk about our Windows 10 Enterprise Plan. This will take us about 10 or 15 minutes, I'll show you what features we bring in this phase, then give a brief demo, and then talk about the upcoming roadmap a little bit. So, to get started, these are the features we're going to be bringing. The hardware and software inventory, email and Wi-Fi configuration, MSI application installation, and then automate the configuration via business policies as you can do for the other platforms as well, and automatic enrollment via Azure Active Directory. Simple as that. Now, let me show you then exactly how all of this works. Now, here I am in my Mirador environment. So what to do first? Maybe look at the configuration profiles. Create one to give an example. So head off to the configuration profiles menu and hit on create. And since we're concerned about the Windows platform, choose that. Make this a mail for exchange profile to configure email and give it a name. So uh, make it a webinar demo email. Give it the Office 365 server host name since uh, that's what we're using. And that one requires SSL. Let's synchronize emails. We can automatic push. And I want to use my user account specific settings from, uh, for mail for exchange. Give it a name. So webinar demo email. And hit on create. There we are. Now we've got the webinar policy created here. And the exact same flow works for applications as well. So head on to the Applications menu, hit on the Add Application tool in the Actions pane, select Windows as the platform. The MSI is currently the only one supported. And I've got two options. I can either use an external URL and give the URL here and you can download our MSI tool here for uh, getting all of these uh, product codes, upgrade codes, what have you, from the MSI. This would be could be used, for example, if you're uh, installing big media and you want to store them in your local network. But we also offer the file upload. So just select that, hit on the browse here, Upload the MSI you want. In this case, we are using 7-zip as an example. And that's it. Hit on Create. And we've got our 7-zip created right here. Now, then to make all of this automatic, we can make a business policy out of these. So again, head on to the business policies menu. In the actions pane, hit on create. And start moving forwards. 
let's say I want this to apply to all of my devices and get the uh, webinar demo email from here and that's it could add files, could add apps also here in give it a name and a description and it's as simple as that now I've got a Wi-Fi profile set to deploy automatically to all of my devices now then how to start bringing devices into Mirador from Azure AD. I've got my Azure portal here under the mobility MDM and MAM all I gotta do is first add the application and this is where the Mirador app would be just select it and mo move forward we're right now in the final steps of uh, getting the Microsoft approval so it might just be a couple of days that it'll be available he here in the app gallery and we'll of course let you know as soon as it is. Now I've also got a virtual machine prepared here so I can show you exactly how it looks. It's a fresh install of Windows 10 and all I gotta do is log in with my Azure AD credentials. And after I log in for the first time I'll be taken through the setup wizard. First I'll have to accept the terms of use. And right after this the next step is to confirm my privacy settings. I'm a Microsoft friendly guy so I'll just accept all that they ask. And then we see the familiar first login Windows 10 screen appear. Then, depending on my company settings, I'll be asked for additional stuff. So my company requires me to set up a PIN code as well as use two-factor authentication. So at first I'll receive an SMS verification code and just enter that here then set up the pin and after this the setup will be all done. That's it. And then I'll be taken to my desktop. Everything prepared and ready for use. And if we go and find the device here. Find it by my name. The virtual machine and I see the email has also already deployed. I see how much space I've got. I see the security information, the computer name and manufacturer, operating system information, any custom attributes I want to enter. And then in the inventory tab too, there's a bunch of more information, everything from battery to the drives, to the CPU model and speed and to the BIOS. We see the email profile has already been deployed. So on here I can just open up an email client I go to the inbox and it needs one more approval and that's it then just accept that this is a company email account and the company will have access to the settings and what have you on the device accept and then after syncing 
the emails will simply arrive since this is the same account that I'm logged onto the computer here. Let me just turn on the blur effect here because these will be my uh, actual emails. And we see the emails arrive. Just like that. All I had to do was start up the mail client and accept the accept the fact that this is now controlled by my company. But then what works if I don't have Azure AD? Well, the other option is to enroll devices the standard way. So just head onto the users view. find my user here and send the enrollment message. I see the message arrive and from the email just hit on the big friendly blue enroll now button and set up a work account. Enter the credentials from the email like so. and I'm all set. So let's find the devices here in the device view. I see that this too is compliant. It's just reported and it's got this uh, webinar demo policy set, set up. I get the inventories from this to what well, the battery status is. Looks like I'm running a little bit low. What device what devices and drives I've got there and down to the memory module serial numbers. Additionally, if we go to the applications pane, we get the full app inventory from this device. And that's pretty much it. Set up either via email or the workplace join as it's called or Azure AD and automatically configure the devices. I then get the security actions as well so if I want to reboot or wipe these things securely I can do that. And the unenrollment of course then removes everything we've deployed with Mirador from that device if we remove it from management. But what about the app installation? Just like for the other platforms, we've got the deploy tools here from the devices view. You can do that for multiple devices and you can also attach them to business policies. So just as a demonstration, let's distribute this 7-zip app. We see that it's now queued in the action log. Let's reload this page once more. And after a while we see that it's gone into completed. And sure enough, we now see the 7-zip context menu here, having installed it, ready to use the program easy as that. And if I'd attach it to the business policy, this too would have happened automatically at enrollment time. And now looping back to the features we reviewed in the beginning, the hardware and software inventories, the email and Wi-Fi configurations, the MSI application installation, automation thereof with the business policies, 
and automatic enrollment. And after we'll keep on continuing the development of this feature. So up and coming there will be BitLocker encryption, there will be restrictions such as blocking Wi-Fi, blocking Bluetooth, not allowing users to connect to any Wi-Fi networks that are not authorized. A Windows update control, so whether you want to always keep it up to date or never update or anything in between. And location tracking as well. So keep coming back and we'll let you know, of course, whenever we come up with new features. But that is the initial enterprise plan available as of today. Thanks very much everyone for participating. Okay, great. Thanks for that uh, excellent demo. And now we will come to the Q&A part of the, uh, the session here with uh, Vault today, and uh, I do see uh, two questions. Um, and uh, that first question is, uh, what Azure AD plan uh, is, is required for uh, automatic enrollment? That's a, that's a fantastic question. What you do need is one of the premium plans, either P1 or P2. Well, that, that, is, that is a requirement for the automatic enrollment. Okay, great. And uh, final question uh, I see here. Uh, they ask, uh, can the users remove the device from management? They can, but uh, the device will also unenroll you from Azure AD, so they won't be able to log in with the, with the Azure AD account without the device re-enrolling. And of course, everything, the mails and uh, whatever we've deployed with, uh, with the help of Mirador will be removed from the device at that point. Okay, great, thank you. Um, I see no further questions. Um, so I would uh, like to thank everyone for attending and uh, special thanks again to Volturi for being here for the Q&A and providing the great demo. And uh, we'll send a recording of the webinar out to everyone that's registered soon. And uh, have a very nice rest of your week. Thank you. Cheers and monopoly as well. Thanks, everybody. Right. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.